So, hi, I'm here following the tutorial on Bellacore, and this time I will explain how I do the armor plates. And to use the to do the armor plates, this time I will use this one. Is the paints? Is a, this is a set of paints from a scale 75? See here the brand. I will put the link below in case you are interested. So these are um, is a set of paints. You see here at the back has different metallics and is a, is prepared to do to paint armors and the I have to say that the quality of these paints are quite are very good. So for this tutorial, I will use from this set black metal. I will use trash metal, heavy metal, and speed metal. So, and the first thing I will do is I will apply a layer of black metal on the armor plates. You have to shake it very well. The paints are coming very thin in, uh, in that the paints, these paints are very thin, so they barely need to add any liner or water or anything, just you can apply directly. This is quite a, a very dark and I will use this as a, the base coat for the armor. I want so and also the pigment size is very small so it's giving very nice metallic So first I apply uh, the darker color, that is black metal, on the armor plates. You see that it's quite dark color. And here that we have this type of spikes or horns or I don't know how to call these things. To uh, try to avoid to paint them because they, they will go, I will paint them later on in bone, tone, in bone colors. This I bought these colors uh, online because uh, and was um, these colors were uh, how that uh, um, I forgot now the, the the word were suggested were um, yeah were advised by a, a very good painter in Spain that uh, was recommending this to to do the armors and the metallic so. Sorry for the noise of my son. So this is, uh, I think there is, is a very nice paint. It's a little bit more expensive than even than Gensh Workshop paints, but I think the quality deserves it. So I will do the, this, I will apply this to the, all the armor plates in the armor, and I will be, uh, and also on the chains, and I will be back once it's done. So as you can see now, the black metal is applied it's quite a dark metal as you can see okay so the next i will i will use now is trash metal okay it's like a little bit browny shake it well This is more or less the color. So I will I will apply it in the recesses. So for example here. It will give us it will give us the sensation of all metal. Need to shake it better. We'll shake it. Now 
No much better. You see here the difference. So this one is not well shaken and this one is well shaken. So you can see the difference in the texture. So I will apply this. So you As you can see, what I would try to do is just leave the very deep part with the black metal, but I paint almost everything with this new color. It's giving more like a yellowish metal, uh, all the metal, so I think it will give good the sensation of all armor plates. Especially, it looks quite better at one because it's quite damage these armor plates and have this a lot of cracks and bones and so So this is how I do and I will do the same on the arm, armor plate. The other important thing here on the chains, and on, I, I will also apply a little bit of this on the chains and on, on just like a dry brush. Or what I mean is I will apply the here to the chains. I, I take some color, not too much on the brush, and I apply this horizontally to increase the shiny of the of the chains. Okay, so you see the same for these type of things. So as you see, I will apply this on all the metallic parts now. And I will be back once I apply this on all the metallic parts. So what I'm doing now is I'm applying trash metal. Okay, this is how they are looking like. All the chains and the hooks and the different tools here. And the armor plates, this is how they are looking like. After applying the trash metal and now I'm going to apply heavy metal. This is more the traditional silver color. Now you will apply this more to the edges. And on the big flat areas. This will give 
change in tonality it's quite subtle but it will give more richness to the metal and kill the flanders that normally the metals have So we will keep applying this one on the metal parts. You see, I will apply the edges. This this is not going to be very visible in the camera. It's very subtle because the, the tonality is not that different. But this is more um, have not this yellowish tone. So what I want to do is leave the yellowish more in the middle of the armor plates and on the shades to simulate a little bit the dirtiness of the uh, of the. Uh, after years of use and do more the right parts on the edges and on the parts that uh, that I think have more movement to simulate that these parts are, are polished and are cleaner okay so this is just very f mm, soft touch very little uh, is very difficult to see but it's the preparation for the next layer that is going to be with the spin metal that is almost white. Okay. So I will keep doing that and I will bring the camera back once I finish finish. So this is now how it's looking like after applying heavy metal and the last one I will apply is speed metal I have to shake it also very well it's a very light color very clear just to do the edges and the different rivets italics okay. can be quite difficult sometimes to work with Here you, what I'm doing is like I highlight they will do similar what I will do with another color focusing on the edges of the armor plates this one I will not apply on the chains just on the armor plates here and the armor plates on the on the arm and I will try to pick the different rivets Here is like a little bit here just to simulate some bright. So you do especially the edges, and next, when you have this, for example, here, this one that is going to be next to this spike that is causing the armor. So here next to the hole, and then I'll do the arm as well. This rivet, I 
we'll do the, the edge of this plate Here I see that I made I make a miss before, so I will paint and then I will apply the clear color and rivet. And then what is important here is to do the edge. Then, yeah, I will do just some hooks randomly. For example, this one here at the bottom, and maybe here, one this one, the rings here. Okay, I will do some of the rings. And I think on these ones. So I will do the one here to to pop on top of the chainmail and this one here okay so the last thing I will do with the metal is I will take noon oil And just I will apply very little around the rivets. Okay, very, very little. This will make these rivets more visible. This is going to be, I guess, difficult to see in camera, but what you want to do is apply very little ar ar around the different rivets here in the arm. This one, for example, is quite visible, so you just apply a little bit here. Here I will follow this type of the edge with some so you do some of the shading just with noon oil but try to apply very little. The rivets work very well to have dark area around and then just paint the rivet with a clear color. This makes the rivets to pop up very easily from the rest. And now I, here I, we have some cracks I will see if uh, some of the cuts have too much and then I apply a little bit of noon oil to make the cracks more visible okay here what I will do in well the armor is folding because of that just almost not visible you, uh, we, you have to be quite subtle sometimes Okay. 
So if there are cracks that you think have to be darker, just apply this a little bit into the crack. Okay, and that will be all for the armor plates. Right. So this is this will finalize this tutorial on the armor plates and now I will start a new one um, where I will do the horns and the nails and all these type of spikes at the back. So thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in the next part. Bye! Oh.